the worst thing you could do to yourself is compare. Stop looking in anybody else's yard, and if you're gonna look, celebrate. What up, YouTube family? My name is Preston Smiles, and I help people live their most abundant lives now regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission is the seven mistakes, the seven abundance blockers when it comes to calling in abundance, including money. Now, before we go into the subject matter, if you're new to the family, if you're new to the tribe, and you know this is something that you need to work on, you weren't taught, you weren't supported, you didn't have a rich uncle or a rich mom or dad, you never learned the inner laws of abundance and success. You were not taught how to be with money in such a way that it multiplied. Then I wanna invite you to do two things. Number one, pay attention to this video because I'm gonna share some stuff that's gonna be really groundbreaking. And number two, there's a link below. I have a book that's about to come out and a course called The Abundance Reset. It is absolutely ridiculous. People are getting their minds and hearts blown in this course. I made it ridiculously affordable for those of you who are in a position where uh, it may be hard for you. You know, it's what you need the most, but you also don't know how to access it. And so if there's something you need support with, go ahead and click that link below and we got you. Uh, PrestonSmiles.com forward slash abundance now. All right, with that said, let's start with the first abundance blocker and that is deflecting compliments or gifts. If you find yourself deflecting compliments or gifts, you are blocking the flow of money. You are blocking the flow of abundance coming from you and towards you. Put number one right now below if number one, you for sure get to work on. Number two, avoiding or shying away from conversations about money. Now, oof, this is a juicy one because many people grow up with religion and sex and money being something that you're not supposed to talk about, right? Give me a thumbs up or type me in the comments if number two is one of those ones that you just grew up hearing and there was always some energy around money, so you just don't talk about it. You avoid or you shy away from conversations about money. Number two, if that's number two, put it down below and say me and anything else that's coming through. The third abundance blocker is holding on to expired or used coupons, gift cards, just resisting the flow. How many of you have a gift card for Starbucks or whatever it is, and you just hold on to them? How many of you have had those and they expired, right? You had them for so long that they expired. This is a simple way to release the valve of abundance flowing to you by simply using those or throwing them away. Stop hoarding them is the main, main concept. Number four, this one's a big one for all my business owners or anybody out there who has your own thing. And that is sending late invoices. Type me in the comments right now if, if you've, you know that people owe you money, but you, you don't get it, you don't collect, you hold off, you sort of sabotage, you wait, you do something other than getting those invoices sent in so that you get your money. Okay, abundance blocker number five is a really big one, and it is refusing to delegate or get support when it comes to anything that you have going on in your life. I know that this is a really big one for a lot of people, and it was a big one for me. You know, I, I didn't want to be a burden to anyone. And so I, I never asked for support. I always had it figured out myself. And so if that one resonates for you, put that in the comments right now, just because we can't disown that which we have never owned within ourselves. And you are currently in my garage. This is my abundance chair. This is made out of uh, like balsa wood in Nigeria and it's money. And, and these shells were money back in the day as well. I'm gonna see her for a second. And this is my 65 Stingray Corvette. Abundance block number six. And this one, again, is a really big one. And it's something that we all get to work on. And it's a part of why I created this course and I'm writing this book on abundance because so many people have this one in the space. And that is comparison. One of the fastest 
worst ways to block money and abundance is to see someone else's money and abundance and to make yourself feel like you're somehow wrong or bad or dirty or you messed up and, or, or you're not worthy of this thing. I'm telling you without a shadow of a doubt, the worst thing you could do to yourself is compare. Stop looking in anybody else's yard and if you're gonna look, celebrate, right? I had to learn this the hard way so I'm not sharing this as somebody who thinks he's better than you or whatever the case may be. When you see somebody who has something dope, right? Like for instance, this space is epic, right? Like ridiculous. This is bigger than my old house, just my garage in my office, right? You know, you could look at this and go, oh, you're a prick, you're this, you're that, the other. I come from nothing, bro. I'm, I made this happen. I welcomed this. I did the work and now I'm giving it to you for free. And so you get to look at me and go, okay, if he can, I can. What is he telling me that I can implement right now? If number, if number six is one that you struggle with, put it in the comments right now. And then last but not least, and this, this is probably the biggest one, Number seven is holding on to past mistakes, shaming or blaming yourself. If that one is in your space, it is one of the fastest ways to lower your vibration and your frequency. I lead workshops all over the world on shame and trauma. And oftentimes people leave our workshops and they say, I feel a thousand times lighter and they have energetic space. And then they will message us five months later, six months later, and they'll say, oh my God, money's flowing. Relationship are flowing, everything's flowing. And it's because they stopped holding on to the shame and the blame of themselves. I don't care what you did. I don't care what was done to you. You are a child of the most high. Whatever created us, I don't care what you call it. Something created us. And that thing has never made a mistake. And even though you think you've made a mistake, there's always beauty in the blessings. Mm. There's always beauty in the breakdown. There's always beauty in the rain, you know? And no storm lasts forever. So whatever storm you're sitting in, I'm challenging you to click that link below and join us in the next Abundance Reset so you can have a crew of people to do it with, number one. Two, even if you don't do that, one of the most abundant things you can do is one, implement anything we talked about here, and two, send this video to someone who you think would receive value from it. The key to living is giving. When we circulate, when we circulate videos, time, energy, money, it must circulate back to us. Blessings and blessings. Oh, oh, from my heart to yours. I hope you have an amazing day. Love you.